What's up, everyone? So today um, we're going to talk about webhooks. Uh, I know it's a scary word. Um, a lot of people don't understand how webhooks work. So I'm going to show you um, a step by step on how to use webhooks. If your application actually support webhooks, uh, there are a lot of ways to send them. Uh, mostly uh, you would see them on Stripe. Uh, normally um, I'm using an application called uh, uh, Pipedrive, which uh, you can create a new webhook on any event. So let's say I would say added. I, I can do star and do call every event, but it doesn't make sense uh, to have webhook for every event. I mean, you might want to go and ahead and do that and, and catch those events, but for me, uh, it's too heavy load for me. So all I need is when something is added. So usually when I deal with this is when the um, activity added. So I would like to have this automated so whenever somebody adds a new activity onto any of the um, any of the deals um, for, you know to uh, to set up a meeting set up a schedule it should uh, go on to the following URL and this URL will come from uh, uh, Zapier so let's go ahead and uh, uh, look at that so I'm gonna say catch a hook so there are two types of hooks uh, one is uh, catch raw hook and catch hook so catch raw hook will get you the headers um, if you know there's something in the headers that you would like to have and again this is related to API uh, catching a hook um, that has headers will have additional information if uh, you're using pagination or or, or there's some kind of information that is important to use, then I, I would go with raw hook. But with this example, I'll just catch the uh, catch hook and then go for the next. Zapier will generate a, a, a URL that you can use. So I'm going to copy that and paste it. So once that's done, um, we do not use auth use and auth password, um, auth username and auth password. It's because it's not needed um, as for this one, uh, but there are some instances or there might be some um, some APIs that you're dealing with that will require that, um, you know, for, for it to catch the webhook. So you can assign a username and password here and that will take care of that. So let me save this. And now we have added activity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, create an activity for, for something. So let's say I will create an activity. Um, let's say I want to do a video call, make it a Zoom meeting. Uh, okay, I think I don't have Zoom on here, but let's just say uh, catch up, follow up on our last conversation. And this would be, um, let's say tomorrow around um, yeah, why not? 10.30 a.m. tomorrow and location, whatever you guys want to do with people. I'm going to uh, assign myself so it's going to locate me and save. Now, once I add that, um, you just have to go test the trigger. So um, when you come here and say test trigger and voila, all the information that we sent from there actually received on this location. So now that we have all the information like person name, um, what else can we get from here? So we can see if that person has deal ID or lead ID assigned to them. Um, you can have other information, like there's so much up here. There's a host, host name. Um, let, let's, do, let's do this real quick. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the catch hook, a uh, catch raw hook. So that way, um, I hope the URL doesn't change um, if I do test trigger. Yeah, so I gotta do uh, change the test trigger from here. So if I go back here, webhooks, and can I edit this? I don't think so. Um, I think, yeah, I can delete this and then we can start over, add it and then activity created. And here's a new webhook that I'm gonna give uh, to catch um, everything with the headers. And I'm gonna save that. So in some instances you will use this, but in, in all other instances, catch hook would be perfect. Um, so yeah, we have to go ahead and add the activity. Uh, let's just do that. So I'm gonna 
mark as done or maybe delete it can we delete this okay so I'm gonna delete that let's go ahead and add another one follow up and this would be assigned to me and once I have this I can put hello world notes so I can you know catch notes and I'm gonna be busy at that time and that's it let me just save it once I have this oh I think I need to assign time so let's just do 10 30 a.m. tomorrow and bingo so let's go ahead and test the trigger and if you see how it gave us the raw body and then if you are working with actual API you can actually take this and work with an API on the programming side but like remember how I said it's gonna give us the HTTP which will have hooks.zapier where the request is coming from what's the IP address what's the port forwarded to so all that information is there um, that you would like um, from here on you can do whatever you want with the data but I I prefer a start by a catch hook um, and then use it from there so this video was just to show how the webhooks work in Zapier. Um, in coming days, I will go ahead and, and show you exactly how, um, how to catch, take that data and add them into um, different applications, maybe Google Sheets or wherever you wanna take it. So this was just an introduction to webhooks. Um, I will be back with another video. Take care.